What's up guys, it's Kenny G here coming at you with another video and chapter 57 of Dragon Ball Super is in the bag. That is the latest chapter of the Galactic Patrol arc involving the villain Moro. Anyways, if you've been uh, following the latest on the manga, you know that Moro's uh, army has just arrived on Earth and is taking on the Z Fighters. And everyone was sort of holding their own. And that's where we pick up in chapter 57, where the fighters are split up into about five different groups. We've got Tian taking on Tian and Chaozu fighting like a Magetta duplicate, basically. We've got Krillin spread out fighting with someone. We've got Master Roshi versus uh, three female fighters. We've got Yamcha fighting some kind of weird hunchback dude. And we have the main crew, which are as Android 18, 17, Gohan, and Piccolo taking on the main force of uh, Moro. And Moro's kind of just sitting around watching as this all goes down. And for the first part of the chapter, we see Krillin taking on this panda looking fellow. I don't really know his name. They might have said it in the previous chapters, but I'm not sure. But essentially he does his uh, multiple destructo disc, the panda deflects it, and it looks like uh, he's got the upper hand on Krillin, but then Krillin does this really cool kind of like flip or flick of his fingers and the Destructo Discs redirect back towards the panda. And it looks like the panda is in big trouble, but he dodges and it, the Destructo Discs are coming right at Krillin. And then it turns out that Krillin was actually just an after image the whole time. And Krillin standing right behind the panda and does a Kamehameha and wipes that panda out. Uh, besides that, what else have we got going on? We got Master Roshi who's fighting the ladies and Krillin encourages him to use the same technique that he used during the fight with Jiren where he's able to uh, kind of like a pseudo Ultra Instinct. And Master Roshi puts on a bandana over his eyes and is no longer, uh, what's the word? Deceived by the looks of the women or seduced by the looks of these three female fighters is able to take them all on at once until they fuse and are able to push back against both Krillin and Master Roshi, which is sort of where that fight ends. We've got Tien and Chaozu who are fighting the Magetta clone and are losing until they come up with the idea of using insults to essentially defeat him, which is kind of goofy. It's kind of goofy that he has the exact same weakness as Magetta uh, from Universe, what is that, Universe 6? But uh, I guess, I guess they're all just essentially clones of characters from other universes, right? So we've got that, and Chaozu ends up being the one to break out the insults and defeats Magetta. Uh, Magetta's clone, sorry. Uh, besides that, what else do we got going on? Not too much, really. We've got Yamcha, who is losing, which is sort of par for course. And Tien and Chaozu show up to save him at the last second. And then Moro finally makes his move towards uh, planet Earth and basically starts taunting the main crew that are fighting, uh, is it 76 or 73 or something? I don't know. The guy who can clone people's techniques, as well as the other smaller fellow, uh, who are being absolutely obliterated by Android 17 and 18. And this whole time we've got Gohan, who is the strongest fighter on planet Earth, who is essentially doing nothing. It's really frustrating watching this, because again, Gohan is kind of getting the shaft, far as I'm concerned. He's not really doing much at all. He's just watching as 17 and 18 are carrying the team. And Piccolo is also just watching, but at least he's not, you know, the strongest fighter on Earth at present. Moro shows up and saves the guy who can steal people's powers. His name is 73. And uh, yeah, basically he starts taunting the crew and saying that he could, you know, steal all of the power from everyone, but he would rather do one at a time to savor his meal. Another fighter shows up from Moro's team who was defeated earlier and kind of wants revenge against the Z fighters for defeating him earlier. And Moro gives him a boost in power and he easily wipes the floor with Gohan, Piccolo, 17 and 18, as well as Jocko, which is kind of ridiculous to me how they're all able to easily power 
be surpassed essentially right they're all surpassed in one instant i do understand that you know you need some kind of threat but i was hoping that it would be more that the z fighters have to hold off moro until goku shows up not the uh whole there's another villain aside from moro that is equally powerful to the z fighters especially gohan who's supposed to be the strongest fighter on earth how many times have I said that just this video? Anyways, he's wiping the floor with them. Then we get a cut to Goku who is still flying around in space and he detects everyone's energy is fading. And finally, Gohan, not Gohan, I'm sorry, Krillin powers up and he detects Krillin's power and he instant transmissions to Earth uh, based on the signal of Krillin's power and shows up and saves Krillin and Master Roshi just as they're about to be defeated by the fused female ladies and Goku drops a self-aware moment where he says sorry I have a habit of showing up late and that is the chapter that's the whole chapter there there's a lot of cool action in the chapter and I really encourage you guys to go over to uh what is it viz and read the latest chapter yourself I kind of gave you a summary there but yeah Goku is finally on earth and he is about to kick some buttocks now one thing to note is vegeta is not here yet so maybe we're gonna get a little reversal on the whole goku showing up at the last second thing where vegeta is the one who shows up at the last second to save the day rather than goku now we know goku has ultra instinct and is likely going to be able to at least fight moro on some level but will it be enough Probably not, and that's why they're holding back Vegeta, at least for probably one more chapter, maybe another two chapters. There's not even a hint of Vegeta this entire chapter, which means he's probably still training, wrapping up his training so he can get to Earth. So, that's the end of chapter 57. We gotta wait another month till March 20th for chapter 58 to see where this all goes, but here's hoping for an awesome battle with Moro versus Goku, and then Vegeta stepping in at the last second, probably four or five chapters away before Vegeta, you know, is full power and taking on Moro. That's my guess, I'm just throwing out a wild guess, and I really do hope that Vegeta finally gets his moment in the, in the spotlight to defeat a major villain in Dragon Ball history because we all know that although he's taken on some major villains in the past the only one that is really notable in the anime and not in the manga is when he defeats topo aside from that vegeta's mostly defeated minor enemies not the main villains right so here's hoping for vegeta to have an awesome come back and wipe the floor with moro whenever he decides to show up maybe he'll show up by instant transmission maybe one of the uh the other fellows will instant transmission him to earth i'm really not sure how it's all gonna pan out but here's hoping and uh yeah that's really it this was an exciting chapter but at the same time i'm a little disappointed that gohan didn't get much time to shine before he being overpowered and Goku's gonna have to step in of course so that's all for now guys I hope you enjoyed my summary I gave you there if uh if you really appreciate the video or the summary please give us a thumbs up maybe consider subscribing that's always appreciated we're a very small channel at about 700 subscribers and we're trying to do everything we can to you know progress our way up to a thousand subscriber mark and your help can really make a big difference for us uh, if you're not in the mood for that, at least maybe consider dropping a like. If, uh, if you hate my guts for some reason, maybe push dislike. And, uh, yeah, just have a great day, and we'll talk next month on March 20th with the next chapter of Dragon Ball Super. I was about to say Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Dragon Ball Super, uh, is released. And, of course, you should head over to Viz and read the chapter while it's free because it will only be free for maybe two months before there it's locked away behind the paywall. So that's all for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed our video and see you next time. Hey guys, this is Lydia. If you like what you see, hit that like button as it helps our channel gain exposure. Also consider smashing subscribe. If you like our content, it would really mean a lot and helps our channel grow. If you want to interact with us, leave a comment down below or follow us on Twitch at super underscore We'll see you next time.